the interaction begins in AI mode, where the AI selects the algorithms it will use to respond. The user draws a line, and the system responds to that line. The user didn't like the contribution, so he voted it down and said it was the wrong content. When you vote down, it decreases the likelihood that it, that algorithm will appear in the future. User voted it up, which will increase the likelihood it will happen in the future. This is the fill tool. You have to fill closed shapes. This is the settings panel where you can change the drawing mode. The user has selected predictive drawing mode, which the user votes on the agent's contributions before it con contributes the line. Here the user will draw a line and the agent will ideate what it's thinking next. It's thinking of drawing a circle and if the user votes it up, it'll draw that circle and if the user votes it down, it'll come up with a new idea. Here the user didn't like it, so it came up with a new idea, didn't like it again. Finally the user liked it. Settings panel again, selecting draw object together mode. This is where the user and the system draw together and you select the object that you'd like to draw together. The user selected butterfly. So the user will start the interaction drawing the initial line and the agent adds on to that line completes the butterfly user draws another line different type of line and the agent completes that line and makes it into a butterfly Going back to the AI mode, this is the chat interface with the agent where you can request it to draw images and the user requested it to draw a bicycle and it ideated a few images for a bicycle. The user is kind of clicking the plus button to generate more images. Now the user has selected a, a bicycle and selected an area for the bicycle to be drawn in so the agent is drawing the bicycle now. Now the user is choosing another item to draw, it's chosen a crab. The system generated some ideas of a crab and it's drawing a crab. Here the user is selecting the request image feature, text to image prompting. And the user has selected castle as the prompt. And the agent is thinking up an idea for castle now. The agent thought up an idea for castle. You specify where the castle should be placed. And the castle is put onto the canvas. Now the user is requesting the system to generate a picture of a knight. The system generates a picture of a knight and the user selects where in the canvas you want to place it. But what if you want to move those images? You go to the manipulate image category on the left hand panel and you move the images around and you can resize them. And finally, you can stylize the image 
in whatever artistic style you choose. Here it's a Kandinsky style. And this is the final product. Or you can add on to that if you'd like. You can save the image. And that's the AI Drawing Partner.